Well, uh, as I was cleaning up the valve covers to uh, put it back, put the original style gaskets back on and silicone and all that, I got a call from uh, Chris from uh, Real Tennessee's Real Gasket Tennessee. So talked to him, and I I just just flat told him that I wasn't happy and that. Uh, if I've got to spend about five times as much for the valve cover gaskets and still had to put silicone on there, just like I told you guys a while ago. Anyways, he said, box them up, send them back, and he'll send me a full re refund. Of course, I'm going to go ahead and send the ones back for the H5 too. So anyways, I've got them all back together and let that silicone cure out and then Go fly without any any uh, leaks, I hope. And uh, it was a mess getting out of here. I had to, had to uh, since this is so mushy here anyway, I pulled an airplane out to here and, of course, started it. But then I thought, well, I'm just going to go ahead and pull it down there to that side of the hangar and then got i started it up and then got in and taxied around the hangar and come over here and then went down that way in the grass and took off and then i went ahead and taxied back but didn't get near as much mud on the tires as i thought and of course that's what i'm worried about is getting a bunch of mud on there and then on on takeoff or whatever throwing rocks or chat or whatever up into the prop so looks like i did good this time and don't have any don't have any nicks so that's a good thing and got to fly for about 15 minutes so but now i still want to fly some more anyway i thought i'd uh let you know another update on real gaskets tennessee there you go god bless